system to increase the number of flights from Britain's airports. Boeing says it's found a way of reducing the turbulence to allow planes to take off the land closer together. Robert Kenny Wickmeyer is a Boeing engineer. What it'll do is allow airports to increase the capacity of their runway to maybe as much as a 20 to 30 percent increase in existing runway capacity. <laughs> Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott's unveiling the government's 10-year transport plan later. He'll outline how £100 billion will be spent improving roads and railways. A woman in Las Vegas has won a million-dollar courtroom battle over a Pepsi. Judy Richardson claimed a work colleague tried to snatch a prize-winning bottle from under her nose. His news beats Peter Bowes. The two women worked together in a shop. Cindy Allen was cleaning up when she found the fizzy drink with a million-dollar prize-winning token inside the car. I noticed that the seal had been broken, so I figured nobody wanted it, so it was trash. But the bottle hadn't been thrown away. Her workmate said she'd bought it earlier. They both claimed the prize. It's taken three years and a trial to decide that Judy, who paid for the drink, should get the million. Go, Jenna. This morning's sport. So this is it. St Andrews, the year 2000. The Millennium Open Championship. It's time there's seven. Britain's best Hopely Westwood tees off in just ten minutes' time. Alex Ferguson is backing the 27-year-old to lift the Claret Jug, and Westwood says he'll give it his best chance. I've never played particularly well round there, so that's probably why I've not enjoyed it so much. On former champions of the Open, where they say they've come here and the first time they've not particularly liked it, they've thrown on me. You know, I'm going to try and learn to like it this one. Tiger starts his trial at 9.30 with the defending champion Paul Laurie out at lunchtime. Middlesbrough are rumoured to be offering Christian Zieger in cash to Liverpool in return for Robbie Fowler. <laughs> Well, she says Leicester's Neil Lennon is in the middle of a tug of war between Aston Villa and Celtic. The midfielders having further talks at Felbert Street over a new deal. And England's Rangers are looking for their fourth successive win today when they take on the Windsor Trent Bridge. 